guys, so this is the runaround for lunch. I have eaten just about everything I can, and I have to tell you straight up, this is a very mediocre buffet. There's a lot of, there are a lot of dishes, a lot of dishes, but none of them are good, I'm afraid. Um, it's very mediocre. Nonetheless, I want to show you um, the actual dishes in a minute. I don't want to be a bit, I don't want to be too much in the way, but I'll actually show you this, this side. I don't want to be in the way when people are considering whether they should eat, what they should eat, because I don't want to put them off. Shrimp scampi pasta. Look, seafood paella. I mean, you've got so many dishes. Uh, in fact, you've got more variety than at Macanal, mm -hmm. by far, by far. If you want to eat, if you want a buffet that has a lot of dishes for lunch and dinner, not breakfast, then I think Planet Hollywood is good. I mean, it's got everything. It's all right. Um, the only problem is that none of them, none of them are good, except for one thing. So anyway, Stuff Soul, I've seen Stuff Soul at Planet Hollywood since I can remember. I think I was six the first time I saw it. And I, it's still the same, mediocre Stuff Soul. It could be such a good dish, but I don't even know if they make them in-house. I don't know. Um, the, unfortunately, months ago I saw an, a new sous chef who, 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 who apparently came from Mirage and he was amazing. He was the one that made Mirage gorgeous. And by that, I mean delicious. And then it went downhill. <laughs> he left, of course, and he came here and I found him here last year, but I don't, I suspect he's not here anymore because uh, he, he's not a chef that would be happy with, with the quality of, of, of the process and like this, you know, I mean, unless there are higher powers that dictate everything, you know, I, it could be. But I, I really, it's as I say, I mean, people will be thrilled when they come here. There's so much to choose from. I want to show you this section, which is very difficult to choose from because people are here for a long time, of course. You got sushi, and that was really nothing. Just like the sushi that you buy in a store when it's not very good. Crab salad, and the crab salad is, you know, average. Uh, the coleslaw, I don't know why, why it was coleslaw, because it was actually a dessert, it was sweet. So I'm not too keen on it, but if you like sweet, something that's a little sweet, then you'll like it. Uh, lemon wedges were good. <laughs> Peel and eat shrimp, so you've got shrimp for lunch. And you also have, uh, I didn't have enough time to show you, steam mussel and Cajun crawfish pasta. Now, uh, if you go to a restaurant, a good restaurant, and you have Cajun pasta, it could be the meal of a lifetime. I had it. Unfortunately, you come at buffets, and I'm looking at it, it's swimming in cream, and I, the, the pasta is overcooked, and I know that it's not gonna be good, right? And uh, that's disappointing, because if quality control were good at these buffets, I think they could provide the experience of a lifetime, all of them. But it's just sloppy, it's sloppy. And it's a shame because they provide here at Planet Hollywood a lot of dishes. The variety is incredible, Com you know, for a middle, mid-range buffet, so to speak, which will always be, has always been. Fish and chips again. You don't have the real nice big chips. You have this French fries, really. I don't know if I, mean, I had them. To me, they taste like the ones you buy in a store. Um, you know, reconstituted chips, but I don't know. They could be from real potatoes. It's just that that's the texture that it gives me. But very flavorful. I could eat a plate of them. It's salty, it's flavorful, it's fried, right? Now the chip, the, sorry, the fish um, was fine, but the batter was so thick. You had to chisel your way through it. It was thick. Again, from a fussy point of view, I've just come from a couple of buffets where the batter was just phenomenally good. So I'm a little bit critical of this. I mean, if you can do it, if they can do it well somewhere else, they should do it well here. But again, you will be overwhelmed by the variety, but the variety is second to none for this type of mid-range buffet. Now, I told you about the pineapple already, and I told you about this tropical fruit salad, and um, I don't see watermelon. That's, that's, a, that's 
not very nice. I like watermelon at the end, and I think that's what people do. Wedge salad, sorry, wedge salad and the Caesar salad, I told you, was mediocre, which is a shame. Pre fresh pre tossed salad should be really tasty. Um, and I've already showed you these and told you about them. Breads, butter, and this, uh, of course, you've got a salad section out, which you've already seen, and these are other toppings. Potato salad, pasta salad, and marinated artichokes. Now, when I see artichokes, I, you know me, I go, ooh. I'm so excited because artichokes are very expensive and I like to eat tons of them. They're really expensive if you buy them. But these ones, I think, are, well, they were not, they were a little acrid. And, and that reminds me of when I buy a really big jars from a, a discount store and I check the provenance and the provenance is certainly not anywhere close by or Italy or anything like that. So they were low-grade artichokes um, but I do appreciate the attempt because they're not supposed to be acidy they're supposed to be a totally different flavor and they have been sitting in their water or whatever water it was for a long time I mean in, in these jars you know and I'm being very critical I know that so every time I say this I will also add as I'm adding now that many of you won't even notice <laughs> chicken noodle soup and spicy corn chowder. Have you noticed that clam chowder is nowhere to be found? Unless I suppose you go to a totally seafood buffet and even then. Uh, clam chowder, I think they have it at Studio B, number one, I think, but I'm going back to double check. Number one buffet, by far. And I don't care, you've got to go. I know it's far, but now they have a shuttle from Tropicana, but as I said, wait, because I'm going to double check it. Broccolini. Chef special, you know, grilled vegetables, and absolutely nothing special. Penne with pesto sauce, swimming in. I mean, I've never seen such bad quality pasta put out. Actually, bad, I have seen it. But it's not fair to say that. Let's call it just a uh, penne sauce. Penne soup. Homemade meatballs. This was the only dish that was amazing. I've been waiting to speak to the chef who I, whom I've never seen before young guy uh, never seen him before didn't seem to be interested in me but which is fine but um, but I, I want to tell him that this polenta was actually is actually gourmet level this, this polenta is gourmet level eat this forget the pasta it's really really good I don't know it's just I'm blown away I mean somebody here probably knows the dish wild mushroom ragu it's not ragu it's a soup um, well it shouldn't be but it is and then you've got lemon basil chicken then you have your really really run-of-the-mill pizza we didn't have good pizza lately oh yeah mirage surprise me i had good pizza at mirage i was actually quite surprised <laughs> quite surprised uh, as i say i still have to do win i'm doing win <laughs> and studio b i'm leaving the best for last because when i leave i want to leave with a good memory and then i go home and i cry because i haven't got these buffets anymore um, okay, let's go to another, but oh, again, I mean, so many dishes and so mediocre, mediocre. And I think, and I think when I say mediocre, I'm being honest, I mean generous in some, for some of these dishes. Okay. We've seen this before, but it's changed a little bit since breakfast. Crispy fried tilapia, miso, miso soup was fine. Nothing else, nothing outstanding, but fine. You know, salty as it should be. <laughs> Kung Pao chicken and Thai chili sauce. Sorry, Thai chili sauce and spicy drunken noodles. Which I mean, I'm really excited when I see these large fat noodles. I'm really excited. I, they're my favorite type of noodles. It was okay. It was okay. Chef special. Chef special, but you don't know what it is. <laughs> I think this is beef and uh, you know, very common. Uh, Chinese dish you find it everywhere I mean ground pork fried rice and sweet and sour sauce and stir-fried vegetables and then you've got steam ja steamed jasmine rice and pork buns can you see them 
I guess it's the same supplier supplying every single buffet because I see them everywhere. Mac and cheese. Now, ooh, it's dried up. That's good news. Maybe that's why they put so many, so much liquid, so that when it, it's almost finished and it dries up, it doesn't dry up too much because when they put it out, it was swimming in liquid. Well, that's maybe what it is. It's cutting corners, right? I would rather they have smaller um, trays, but really, you know, top quality. But I know it's hard. But you can find it in really, really good buffets. You can find it, right? Still. Saute green beans, caramelized sweet potatoes, pork loin roast, a bit dry. This one's dry. Shouldn't be dry, it's dry. And, you know, sausage, run of the mill, barbecue spiced chicken rotisserie. Can you see it? And I told you these, right? Flank steak, which were chewy. Look good though, don't they? And the Yukon mashed potatoes, uh-uh, sorry, flavorful, flavor less than flavor less, that's what I meant, flavor less. And also a little bit too buttery. These ones were fine in terms of texture, roasted vegetable pilaf, good texture, no flavor. Barbecue ribs, you know, kind of the meal really. Ooh, don't get too excited. Sliders. But I haven't tried them. They look incredibly dry. Where did I have really good sliders? Let me think. I think they were at Aria. Very good. Very, very good sliders. I'm not into sliders a lot or burgers, but they were really, really, really good. Mini sliders. I'll tell you, I'll show you this later. This is the Middle Eastern section. I mean, uh, Planet Hollywood has a, a, a large Middle Eastern section and it's gone through so many phases. Great, uh, average, horrible, getting better. Last year it was getting better, and now it's just like every other dish here. Basmati rice, roasted curry, cauliflower, chicken curry, and Moroccan vegetables. Tandoori chicken kebab and vegetable kebab. Then look, this this Middle Eastern desserts. I've seen them since I was a kid here. <laughs> and not bad. Then hummus. I haven't tried it. I've got to try it. It wasn't out when I was here last time. Tabuli, which was completely tasteless. Dolmas and feta cheese and couscous salad, the big type couscous. I prefer the, the small little couscous. It's a lot flavor, more flavorful in my opinion. Oh my lord, I'm disappointed. You know, so many dishes and all of them are mediocre. All of them, except for the, the, the polenta. That was a surprise. I couldn't believe what, I, what happened in my mouth. Better than I've ever had. It's incredible. Chicken noodle soup. I think we've gone, I've gone through this in the other section, actually. Mexican section here. This is, you know, when you come to Planet Hollywood, remember to come all the way to this section, otherwise you will miss the Mexican and the other other section here. Okay, so, a little tacos, tamales, tacos. Quesadilla, chili cheese quesadilla. And grilled chicken fajitas. You got your fajitas here, presumably. Yeah, there you go. You can make your own fajitas. See, the ideas are all good, right? But it's just the flavor, it's the texture that's lacking. Spanish rice, charro beans. Somebody else is taking pictures, isn't that funny? You didn't see that, I did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sighing because it's hard, you know, and this is my first meal of the day, which means I'm really hungry because because then I eat in the evening, I go to the gym for a long, long time, I walk, and then I digest everything, and then when I'm hungry, I go to bed, and otherwise I put on weight, right? And um, and so in the morning, I'm hungry, and now it's already 11.40 in the morning, so I should be really hungry, and, and I was, but I was put off pretty immediately by 
to the quality. But as I said, okay, let's just go back a little bit. I wish they had a buffet like this in downtown Vegas. Let's just tell you straight up that you don't find this. At least the variety is here. At least the variety. But, you know, for example, the guacamole, run of the mill, uh, to say the least. Um, it's everything like this bread. And it's so fun, right? It just blows your mind. But flavors aren't good. What I'm going to have, since I've come all the way here, I had it before, but I'm having it again. I didn't do that, by the way. I might do some other atrocity here. It's this cheese, this blue cheese. Yeah, that's how it comes. This blue cheese is actually very nice. And of course, they didn't make it. They bought it, but at least they bought decent blue cheese, right? And then you've got your salami. So this is, um, it doesn't say, so I'll have to tell you. Salami, mortadella at the end. It's a little dry, mortadella at the end, salami. And this, I think, is spicy capicollo, which is quite expensive. If you live in BC, British Columbia, just probably this and this, these two items together, it will be as much as it would cost. Sorry, it would cost you that much to buy this and this. So, this is as much as it would cost you. The same as the buffet. So my point is, it depends on where you come from. I mean, you come from certain areas where food is very expensive and eating out is very expensive, then you'll be blown away because you'll think, I'll just eat my money's worth just eating these two items. That's it. I am critical because I do this, right? I do, I do buffet reviews on a... Uh, in relative terms, in relative terms, this is a, a, a hugely varied buffet, very varied buffet, but the, the quality is mediocre. The quality control is low, in my opinion. But you have a lot to eat. And in absolute terms, like if you compare it with your lifestyle, what you've got at home, it's great. I mean, you should see the buffet that I have in uh, Vancouver, BC. Um, the casino buffets, they are ridiculous. And if you live there, you will know. They are a disgrace. They cost more and they are a disgrace. Like it would be, this would be the buffet, just the size of this Mexican section. And the food would be inedible. So, compared to that, this is heaven. And I know why some people say, oh, why are you be so harsh? This is a great buffet. Yes, it is a great buffet. It is. But compared, compared to Aria, compared to even Bellagio that disappointed me this time, you know? Compared to even, I say Mirage, which, which is getting a little better now, again. Uh, of course, compared to Studio B, which, where I'm gonna go back and double check, but Studio B is the best. Um, and possibly Win. Uh, the Win disappointed me for many years, but I've heard good things about it, and I'm going to check it tomorrow. I uh, don't know where I'll post, when I'll post it, but I'm checking it and filming it tomorrow. So, um, compared to the top buffets, this is not one of them, because the quality control is low. I don't know why this happens. I would expect that you just hire a couple of good chefs and train these people to cook well and, and then skip the quality control. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Maybe some, maybe management thinks it doesn't matter because ultimately people will be blown away by what they can eat with the price tag that this buffet has. For that, check us out on top-buffet.com. We have all the prices there. Because I bought a 24-hour buffet pass. And I'll, I'll tell you how much that was. I'll tell you now. $65, quite a lot, quite a lot for a bunch of mediocre buffets because the better ones you have to pay extra and they're not that much better. But I'll go check them all, you know, I've been to Bacchanal already. I'll go to the Rio, which is supposed to have changed, so I'll find out. And then you've got all these desserts. So I understand, guys, that from an ab in absolute terms, this is a great buffet. You come to Vegas, you find better buffets, and then you have to be critical. Well, I feel I have to be honest. So there's a lot to eat. Mediocre. That's it. But if you compare it what you have at home, it's heaven. Does that make sense to you finally? Have I finally made myself clear? People like the macaroons here, you know? 
I am going to try this and let you know later. Now I'm holding already a plate and they have, and then I'll try a few things and let you know if there's anything worth mentioning. Can you see it? I want, to, I want you to see what you've got. This is lunch. So obviously, as you can see, there's a lot more than for breakfast. Crepe. The crepe station. Where are the crepes? I don't think it's ready yet because I see no crepe ingredients. Uh, Sugar-free desserts. Wahoo! <laughs> Sugar-free desserts. So far, the best is Bellagio. Hands down. Best is Bellagio for sugar-free desserts. Although Bellagio disappointed me in other ways. And again, with the same thinking that I described just a few minutes ago. It's all relatively speaking, relatively speaking, relative to where things, how things were, how things were in the past, what you could eat in the past, what you can eat somewhere else, and the price as well. Bread pudding and food cobbler. So I'm going to try a couple of these dishes here for, um, uh, for dessert, and I'm going to try this slider as well. I have to, I have to because I know many of you will be into that. Try and see, I mean, the idea it sounds gourmet, doesn't it? Well, I'll try it and get back to you. And uh, for now, I'll leave you with the view of this meat. Okay, this is the mini slider, guys. Can you see it? I hope I'm not grossing you out. Um, the flavors are good. Again, very flavorful. The meat, it's not the best quality, no doubt about it. But it's actually well cooked. It's by that I mean it's the pro, it's processed well. It's not thick. It's soft. It's a little crunchy yet soft. Not much. The condiments are lacking. Just give us more cheese or whatever. Just make it because it's a little dry. You know, it's a little dry. I like it when it's there are condiments and even like you possess, for example, you could put, I don't know, pickle on the side and you can add the pickle or whatever. And now I'm going to try the macaroni and cheese. Same stuff that I can buy at Walmart. Probably worse. And of course now I'm going to enjoy myself by eating this really good blue cheese. And then I'm going to eat the dessert section and get back to you if there's anything worth mentioning. Okay, guys? Okay, I can't eat anymore. I can't believe I have two more buffets to do. Now, the creme brulee, it was a bit too sweet for me, far too sweet for me, but many of you I think will like it. The texture was fine, the flavor was fine. And the bread pudding was good actually. The bread pudding with the sauce was good. So far I think the best things I've had were the polenta. That's gourmet, wow. It's as if they had borrowed it from somewhere else. And then uh, this bread pudding, there's very little left. And, um, and you know, you remember what I said about the, the slider, right? And that's it, that's it. Breakfast and lunch, eh? Disappointing. Lots of mediocre dishes. Now, we have a list of top buffets in Vegas, including affordable ones. On top-buffet.com, there's a page, best buffets in Vegas. Check it out because that's a page that we keep updated all the time. You can also sign up for updates and uh, there's, um, there are many more updates coming up, 20 or 30 updates on top of the videos, besides the videos. And then of course, um, you know, strategies to eat for free and uh, to find free coupons, to buy coupons and get discount uh, buffets and discount rooms, reviews on some of the resorts, uh, resorts walkthroughs, walkthroughs of different areas of Vegas, and uh, and we do welcome your comments. However, however, I do not have time to reply to your questions on this YouTube channel. I apologize for that. I will post the comments. Thank you for them. I appreciate them. I will read them but I will not reply. It takes me far too long. I used to do it and I found out that one day it took me a whole day and then I couldn't do anything else. And um, you know, I do this for love, right? It's not my job. I do this for love and it, it's important to me. I'm a, I'm a buffet lover and, uh, and, and I do love Vegas. I do love nature, but Vegas is where I actually find my buzz and then I go back into nature and then I travel, you know? But 
so this is out of love, a labor of love. <laughs> um, but I do reply absolutely to any comments or questions you post on top-buffet.com. And we also have a section there, besides the comment section, we have a section titled Vegas Videos, and you can write your Vegas videos requests there. And you can contact me there. And even if it's a personal question, I will read it. I will read it. And I will reply it if it's not something personal. But I will read it. And I might even reply to you personally. Who knows, depending on what you ask. Um, and that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Share this. Share it with as many people as you as you as you can. Um, and let's hopefully create a movement, right, where we force these buffets to become gorgeous again. Once upon a time, where eating at this buffet, for example, was an absolute gourmet heaven. I loved eating here several years ago, and now things have changed. 24-hour buffet pass, I can give you tips on this. I'm going to change what I said on the website. I'm going to change it tonight. So check the website. I'm giving you some tips on how to maximize your 24-hour buffet pass. Okay, guys. See you there. Bye-bye.